Okay, now for this one. Um, if you remember, this had a very, very faded, discolored um, red matte board on it that was turning kind of pinky orange. I removed that. Um, there's that bit of a burn line there from the old matte. Um, yeah, so some kind of darker discoloration there. Um, just to show you the difference between the, I mean, you've seen them. I was like, oh my god, it's pretty. It's okay though, everything still looks great. <laughs> um, to clean this up, add a new matte board. Um, I've got still, this is a very creamy matte board. It is not white, obviously, here next to the white background. Um, just kind of brightens it up some and um, kind of harkens back to its original color, if you can see there. So um, yeah, cover up that burn line, new matte board, uh, light colored matte. Um, we can do dark frame on that. Starting off with the uh, standard standard black, just a poster frame. Uh, big black text, simple black gallery frame, flat black 125, uh, two, two and a half inch matte board margins. I was gonna ask if you wanted to make it a little bit bigger. Um, but I just kind of kept it down at the, the standard two inches or so. Um, flat black. And um, I have a second matte board option here if we wanted to go with a color. Um, obviously all of these muted kind of dark um, swatches of, of uh, watercolors up here. I, I liked this blue. Um, I'm going to grab the blue that I got from the love poster over here and show you the difference. Yeah, so very bright. Um, I mean, this is still a dark blue. This is still a dark blue, but we're shifting from the, the brighter blue to um, more of a, a foggy dark one here, um, which works way better with that muted colors that are going on up there. Um, I just thought maybe some contrast and a dark blue matte board, then we can go with a light colored frame. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, I'm really gonna like gush over this frame because it's one of those soft, um, you know, not brushed, but just kind of foggy finish. Catches the light, but isn't too shiny. Um, neither silver, neither gold, champagne. But the way that it it combines the, the, the creamy matte board, the paper color, this is just kind of elegant, if I can, yeah, it's elegant. And I, I actually really like this matchy, matchy, matchy um, for, for this frame, just because of the, the muted tones in that, in that champagne color there. So um, this one, I think would work very well on the cream colored matte board. Do, 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 uh, 240 for that. Um, I also think if you want some contrast, that's a great pairing too. This frame works great with both of them. So um, 240 for that soft champagne finished frame. Um, works with either matte board. And last but not least, um, a uh, natural, natural wood. This is the one I keep calling medium honey. It's got kind of a pecan look to it, so it's not that very light maple, nor is it, you know, getting too, too dark. It's just kind of medium. Um, also, uh, this works great on the uh, off-white matte board and has enough warmth and contrast for the blue that, that I think this works for either matte board as well. So we've got some swapping around options. Um, 260 for that one. Um, again, I think it works with either matte board. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards this, this cleaner presentation here, the, the off-white matte board. Just me personally. Do, do, do. 260, natural, medium, honey. Um, yeah. So soft champagne and then the flat black. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Again, um, this is two-inch matte board margins and regular glass. Talk to you soon.